I woke up last night with a mouse staring me in the face. It was sitting on my pack, and I'm looking at it through the screen. <clears throat> and it goes, Mike, get out of here, you little pecker. My pack. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't leave anything in there that has a scent to it. Normally I put everything that has a scent into the bag and I hang it. Which, I'm going to go grab all my food and everything right now. Day six. It's day six, guys. Countdown to the burger. <laughs> On day ten. <laughs> or nine, if I cut out an extra day. I use a spare lightweight tent stake instead of a stick because it's easier to pull out in the morning. Reeves Falls is just off the road. If you're in the back country and you hear a chainsaw, what do you do? Well, if you're yuppie, you might just want to run. If you're a redneck, it's just some guy running the chainsaw. Rednecks don't come after their own. <laughs> you know, I was never really a fan of roadwalks, but uh, roadwalks are just easy. It's a nice break from all the ups and downs. <laughs> One of the times I've been to Vegas, I was out working a convention with a friend's business, and uh, we were out on the town, and uh, towards the uh, night, we got a hot dog from this uh, hot dog cart. Man, it was the best hot dog I've ever had, and I can't stop thinking about that hot dog. Maybe I'll add a hot dog to things to get from town. Maybe stop at a gas station or something. It's not gonna be as good as the Vegas hot dog. But it's still gonna be good considering the situation. I'm also gonna get pizza and a burger. Traffic! Wow! <laughs> Things are getting muddier. Of course, I didn't record it because I was in the mud. I'll do a lot of walking shots, but I'm not going up stairs and hills like that twice. No, not gonna happen. Respect private property, ya damn yuppies. features over yonder. It's time for me to take a break at Silver Creek Camp. Ooh, ibuprofen is necessary. So we are off the map, but close to this area. Due to this bridge being out, we gotta take this road, long road rock detour. That's kind of lame, but then that goes up to the campsite that I'm staying at. But then tomorrow I can hike all the way up to Gooseberry Falls. The problem is, 
is that over there there's a detour as well because there's this trail a section of trail closed and well since the bridge is out at the uh, Split Rock River, River Loop I might as well just take this detour but there is something good about this this leads me past the Gooseberry Falls Visitor Center which means I can go get some candy blister prevention this is a uh, cool spot to get water. I was enjoying having a break. Filled up one too many bottles. So, I'm just going to bring it with me and drink it fast. Goodbye, cool chill spot. Oh dear God. Stairs. I'd have to say that cedar groves are probably my favorite places to be. I'm not talking, you know, a bunch of cedars mixed in with a bunch of other trees. I mean, just cedars. I was on an island in Lake of the Woods once, which was just cedars. It was amazing. It's probably one of the most amazing places I've ever been. Minus the North Shore, of course. You know, it's really interesting how the scenery changes out here. It's almost constant. One minute you're in a bunch of birch, another minute you're in a bunch of pine, another minute there's a bunch of cedars, another minute it's open, another minute it's all mossy. <sighs> when you're driving around the North Shore, you get kind of more of the landscape picture, so it seems like everything is all the same, but things change so drastically out here so fast. You really gotta be back here to see it. Witness it behind the scenes. Dirty, 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 dirty water. I've reached the detour. I forgot I have to go in to that point of trail a little bit until I get to three. Cause I'm not gonna take 301 up there. I've already explained it in a clip before this. Here's a bridge. Crossing a bridge. A bridge that the Encampment River doesn't have. All right, so this must be three. I'm gonna take this as the detour. That's a pretty long detour. I don't even know how much farther I have left to go. Getting close. Still, I am still on the road. <sighs> this is starting to get annoying. Finally on the trail. After that atrocity. Oh. These are all cliff sides here. I've reached the next trailhead, now it's up to the campsite. Oh, a long day, my feet are swollen. So swollen. <laughs> the trail has turned into a rock slide. Excellent. I think we've made it to a uh, switchback made of stone. Trail is getting real now, boys. Oh, yeah. The only thing that can make this better right now. It's pizza. 
this is a great place to take my long break. You see the trail goes up right there. This is all rock. And we have this spectacular view of Lake Superior. And it keeps going and going and going. Remember the cliff sides I showed you earlier? That's what we're going up. <laughs> one slip, one wrong move. And I'm quite a ways down there. <laughs> Guys, when it comes to that kind of terrain, make sure your trekking poles get a good bite, especially with the amount of weight that you could be carrying. Also, always check your footing. You slip on some of that stuff, there ain't no coming out. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, my feet are killing me dead. It's over 15 miles today. A lot of it road walk was horrible. It looks like I uh, beat person that I've been staying campsites with today. She usually passes me on the trail and we're both doing through hikes. Man, I hope my feet feel fine tomorrow. But I did plan for a Nero day, so like four miles or so. But I wanted to actually do another 15 tomorrow, but I guess we'll see how my feet feel. All these detours and whatnot. I just want to get to town so I can eat a burger and pizza and hot dogs. <laughs> but as soon as I can get to Gooseberry, which could be tomorrow, I can get candy and it will be awesome. We've got a super chilly wind sitting here trying to cook some food and the wind is just so cold and it's making it difficult to cook the pasta. I also checked the weather. It's going to be storming tonight. We're up high on this rocky area, kind of. At least according to the map it looks like we're up higher. And uh, well, there's going to be thunderstorms tonight, so we're up high, and it's going to be storming. I already checked the trees. Trees look like they are okay. They're not leaning in my direction, but... I don't know. I'm still a little nervous about it. We'll see what happens. I'm in the tent. Tent's all sealed up. I'm sitting in the sleeping bag because that wind is cold. There's a wind chill to it. And oh, it is cold. I'm also preparing for the thunderstorm later tonight or earlier this morning. I've got my pack all cinched up in the pack cover. I've got my rain gear, which is a uh, poncho, a good quality poncho. And in case we're getting any spray, or leaks or anything, I can cover my down sleeping bag and not get it wet. Be prepared. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that my hiking buddy is not going to be making it up to this campsite because she is faster than me. She passes me every day. She didn't pass me today. And she's not here, so she's probably decided to stay somewhere else. My feet are still pretty sore, but hopefully they'll be good for tomorrow. Just the rain has started up. There's a big storm to the south. I'm already seeing the lightning, but I'm not really hearing the thunder. I'm up so high, I'm probably seeing it from, you know, so far away. I don't know if I'm going to really get hit hard or not. See what happens. Oh my. 
my god.